Hi. It's Friday. Um, and, um, um, what was I going to say? So, I did not work out yesterday. I went to work right away. Um, and so what I have for dinner. So I had a, let's see, me, it's called a turkey dagwood. I don't know what it would be called anywhere else. Um, so basically it was, it's a BLT with turkey on a Kaiser bun, a big Kaiser bun. Um, so that's what I had for dinner. It was so yummy. I know the carbs because of the bun, but it was so yummy. And um, but I'm going to the gym today. I'm going to go knock it out today. I'm excited to do it. Um, and I've actually lost like three pounds, so that's good. Um, maybe more because I think I was at 238. And when I checked the other day, I was at 233. So that's five pounds. Um, so that is it there. Um, so yesterday I made a video and I didn't post it and I deleted it just because the comment that I made, I think was inappropriate. Um, and it just is part of the stuff that I preach about every day, not to do, not to say, not to be. So I chose not to post it um, because I'm trying to put better in the world, not feed into it. So this is what's happening. In my local area, we have a large amount of immigrants from Somalia. And... This is a majority white state, as I've said many, many times. And so they get blamed for a whole lot of stuff that really is not their fault. And stuff that, um, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, immigrants get certain federal money and grants and stuff because they're immigrants that Americans don't get because they were, you know, they come from a country where they don't have all the stuff that we are born into. So anyway, um, there was, there's a, a, a bunch of kids who cause problems and act a certain way and young adults of, of that nature and I get there's been lots of tension with in the community with the immigrants and the locals and I don't know all of the story because you know there's always two sides to every story well actually there's three there's his side, her side, and then the truth or the middle or whatever. So, I don't know. Apparently, these kids started a fight a couple weeks ago. They asked for it to use a lighter. And um, somebody gave them a lighter. And then when they asked for their lighter back, the kids started to harass them. And whatever. So, this, the other night, this something, other stuff happened. I guess BB guns were being used and shooting at people and um, arguments started. And so these, this group of locals decided they were going to take it upon themselves to get, um, even with the Somalians and 
in the process there was this big brawl that took up took place and um, the uh, a gentleman a friend of mine her the father of her daughter is in critical condition he's only got 20% chance to live at this point um, so it doesn't look good so now the locals are taking it upon themselves to police the situation, which is not good. Because young children, young innocent children, are the ones that are usually picked on because they're the most vulnerable. And, uh, It's happening. My friend who is a community advocate is is telling me that, you know, it's happening. I sent her screenshots of stuff that I see that are sad so that way she can spread that out and and her and her resources um, and other individuals can go in and kind of diffuse the situation because um, obviously they can't monitor every single thing. But, um, you know, not everybody in that Somali community is bad. You know, not everybody is causing these issues or, or you know, making this uproar. And, um, you know, it, it's just really sad. So that an entire culture, an entire group of people who are being blamed for this. And, you know, it's like, it's no different than the locals and their kids when they cause havoc and uproar and all of that. You know, there's no difference other than these people have a different skin color and a different language. Because if it was a bunch of white kids doing it, it wouldn't be such uh, an issue. It would just be, you know, we need to have better policing and, and There still would be outrage. I just don't think it would be to the extent that it's at right now, you know, because it's it's really bad. Like the comments and stuff, and I, I literally I fear for the kids, you know, because you know these are Somalians and they they've come here to get away from. Poverty, war. So they're already conditioned to live in that environment. So if the locals have no idea. They're not ready for what these people have seen and been through. Um, but we're in America and so this should not be happening. Um, it should not be. So my point to this this message is when you're angry be mindful of who and what you're angry at and about um, I'm angry that this happened to my friend's daughter's father I'm angry I'm angry that it had to get to that extent I'm angry yes I'm saddened that her family and his family have to go through this see their loved one laying in a bed unconscious and fighting for his life yes I'm angry but not angry enough to blame the entire group of people I'm angry enough to say the community needs to step up and come together and fix it that's what needs to be done so if the Somali parents are having a hard time controlling their children, well then we need to find out and figure out why. Because we have a hard time controlling our children and we have resources to have to figure out why. So it's the same thing, you know? I mean, you see white kids running rampant, standing on the corner acting like fools eating Tide Pods and, and, and cinnamon and, and acting retarded. So what the hell is the difference? So 
so we just need to we need to figure it out and not be um, you know harassing innocent children not every child caused this problem and not every adult caused this problem so that's just my point today um, you know what I'm saying uh, I just it really bothers me that this type type of stuff has to even have a we have even have to have a conversation about any of this stuff because we're all adults, we're all smart, we're all intellectual. And so to have this conversation is just stupid to me, but we have to have the conversation. So we're gonna have the conversation. Um so you know what I say, the best investment you can make is an investment in you. What are you investing in you today? Today I'm investing time in my community to try to hopefully fix the problem that's going on. Um, I'm going to probably meet with Melissa later on tonight so that way we can discuss what's going on. Or at least have a conversation with her over the phone if I can't meet with her in person. Um, because, you know, this is really something that is, is important. And even though I don't live directly in the community and it's really not directly affecting me, it still affects my friends and my family and the community that I do live in. Um, and that's what I find is important. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will check in with you tomorrow. Um, I do have to work tomorrow and I'm going to try to make it to the gym since I'm not going to the gym on Sunday. Um, cause Sunday is CT family day. Um, so I'm going to make it to the gym tomorrow and I have the cook out at work so it's going to be a really busy 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 day tomorrow so you guys have a great day and i will check in with you tomorrow bye bye